All the characters are really brilliantly dysfunctional, fully rounded, contradictory characters. But the script and the writing is just addictive. Uh, it really was some of the best scripts I've, I've ever read. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I was completely hooked. It's a, it's a thriller type piece, so it, and it's a real page turner. I kind of got the first three episodes and I was infuriated that they didn't have any, any more eps to read. It was, it was the, you know, it's, it's that good. And what's nice about it is that it's a real ensemble piece. Um, there's four lead, lead characters and there's these really wonderful intertwining stories. And it just felt like a really original piece of drama. Yeah, I mean, like Tom said, really, it was, uh, you know, the character was appealing. Every actress wants to play someone flawed on different levels. She was in an unhappy marriage. She had made wrong choices. She was regretful, but also she was filled with this kind of hope for the future when she was reunited with her childhood friends. Um, so the character was appealing, but like Tom said, it was, it was part of the piece of the story. And I'd never read a thriller Certainly never seen, certainly never read a, a, a piece that takes the idea of a missing child and the, the victim that you're used to seeing in a thriller is subverted, so it is a source of menace or threat potentially. And that just gripped me. Mm. Um, and to be able to c contribute in telling that story was what appealed me to the project. Well, I play Danny and uh, I'm one of the four friends and I play a police officer um, who comes across the DNA which gives us evidence that Jesse, our friend who went missing when we were kids, is still alive. Um, I was really excited about the show, you know, getting to work with Red and Sky and Danny and of course Harlan, I'm a big fan of his book, so getting to be a part of something with such great people was really exciting to me. Uh, I play a guy called Slade, he's um, a bit of a checkered past, one of the friends, and uh, he runs a shelter for runaways and kids in trouble. Yeah, he's embroiled in this, uh, this blast from the past that comes back to haunt them. You know, who, what, where, how, why. And uh, I think he takes it upon himself to make sure that, especially with, um, with Mark, he feels a protection towards him. He takes it upon himself to, uh, to make sure he's okay. And um, yeah, I think he's a... Uh, He's an interesting character. Yeah, he's a bit of a by any means necessary character. He's, he's, a, he's a rum and, <laughs> um, But yeah, likewise, you know, he was, um, you know, Red are a fantastic company to work for. And, and, you know, I think people always gravitate towards stuff that they do because it's so different and original and heartfelt. And um, even though this is a very fast paced, um, complicated piece, there's a lot in there and I suppose it's like Harlan's books where it just you can't sit back for a second it keeps you wanting more yeah. the story is that um, when we were all kids um, my brother who was also a child at the same time younger than us went missing and we were all there on that day and this is set 20 years later and this missing kid's DNA turns up at a crime scene. So it's this unravelling of grief and guilt. And so for those people, the four people that were there that day, um, their lives have been affected immeasurably by that event. And so the relationships are, are so textured and it, and it has so much history that is immediately tapped into and immediately accessible and you see it immediately. And the, the depth that you have in those relationships, because they're based on guilt and pain and regret, and, and regret but also in immense love because they were all there together and they've gone through this journey together, that the relationships are, are, fan are fascinating. And there's so much room for, um, and scope for, for drama. And, and it's, it's, it's incredibly affecting to, to be a part of it, you know. Well, on screen I feel like there's a lot of chemistry, off screen we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we hate each other. 
Um, but I, I, I think, in, in all seriousness, we, we got really lucky. You know, it's such a talented cast throughout. Actually, um, we've been really lucky with some of the actors that are part of it, and um, and so yeah, that that's really worked very well. And 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 I think to create a backstory when you have four friends who've known each other for 25 years. I don't know, you, 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 to some extent you can't really fake it and so we were really lucky in that actually from the outset we all kind of got on and were like, oh yeah, I can see this um, working out. And plus we're filming in Liverpool which is um, it's a great city and everybody seems, <coughs> excuse me, everybody seems to be very welcoming and accommodating and the crew are just fantastic and everybody's working really hard to, um, to create this piece that feels different and special somehow. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, we're, we're, we're very lucky. Everybody's a, a great bunch. I think, like, the, this, the new world of VOD is just opening up huge possibilities. I met a woman last night who said that she'd watched 400 new TV shows last year alone. And what it means is that people's uh, accessibility to, to, to stuff is, is just so immediate. And it means that there's always something out there for everybody. And I think that's really exciting. You can be really specific about what you watch um, and you know, find the stories that really relate to you. And I think that that's, that's really exciting. And what, what I think we're, these incredible technological advances in terms of cameras and every, you, know, you can really make high quality drama and everyone can. And, um, and what's great about TV is that the long form nature of it you can really invest in yeah. in characters and break them down. I think that's exactly it. it. You know, when you're telling a story over 10 hours, the places you can go and the plots that you can explore and the places that you can explore with your character are so vast. You just don't get that with film or theatre because there just isn't the scope of it. So certainly as an actor, you're, you're challenged in a different way. Um, you know, you need, you need endurance. You need to be able to sustain the character, but also explore different places that they would visit. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just think we are in the golden age of TV. Just the way people are consuming content is transformed. And nothing beats having a loyalty to a show and just, you cannot wait to see what happens next. Um, and to me, that is the most satisfying thing. And much more than going to the cinema, even going to the theatre, is sitting at home, watching a box set and, you know, being knackered, but dying to know what happens next. And to think that we've hopefully created something like that is just beyond thrilling.